Hi, Ryan from Seagull.com, setting up the Explorer Kayak. The Explorer has been redesigned using a state-of-the-art fabrication process that makes for a super strong and light kayak. 12 pounds lighter than its predecessor, the Explorer now has 16 self-bailing drain valves that can handle up to Class 4 rapids. Put on the large skeg for efficient flat water tracking. Unpack and unroll your Explorer kayak. For whitewater paddling, remove the caps from your self bailing drains or close securely for flat water paddling like I'm going to do today. To inflate, locate your three recessed valves. There are one on each side chamber and one on the drop stitch floor. Press and turn the stem a quarter turn to the left until it pops up. Your chamber is now ready to retain air. Screw the threaded end of the hose into the out port on your foot pump. The other end of your hose will have the recessed valve adapter. This is normally stored in your repair kit. You place that in as such. Place into the valve body, twist and turn to your right until it's fully seated. The working pressure of your Explorer kayak is 3.2 pounds per square inch. With your provided Sea Eagle foot pump, inflation is fast and efficient. Or you can use one of Sea Eagle's electric pumps to make inflation even easier. While inflating, you can adjust the floor by tucking it under the side chambers. To complete the seal, replace the valve caps. Only use Sea Eagle pumps and never an air compressor. Place your inflated seats in the kayak and attach a clip to the D-ring. If you have the tall back seats, place it in, connect the side clips to a front D-ring and the clips in the back to a rear D-ring. And you can adjust if need be. For tandem paddling, set up the rear seat the same way. You can use the black D-rings on the spray skirt for your rear anchor points. As you assemble the paddles, notice there are three pre-drilled holes on the shaft. The middle hole allows the blades to be parallel. For windy conditions, you can feather to the left or to the right. The removable skeg improves performance on flat water. Got on my paddling vest, time to head down to the water and have some fun. Store your kayak inflated or deflated. Either way, it's recommended that you dry it off first. To deflate, remove the valve cap, then press and turn the stem a quarter turn to the right. This down position will allow the air to escape. You can leave the seats attached. Either way, we'll roll from the stern, pressing out any remaining air. Keep your skeg face flat as you go. Thanks, this is Ryan from Sea Eagle. See you out on the water.